Good morning, beautiful people. I guess I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> right now, I'm just taking my morning vitamin supplements. You know the vibe. Same shirt as yesterday. You know, <laughs> I told you I was never going to take it off and I meant it. No, but like, come on. Clothes, you could wear more than once until they're dirty. Unless like you stink, which I don't think I do. I hope I don't. Today, I'm actually going to my bariatric doctor group. Remind me to pick up my medicine at CVS. Okay, remind me. Taking my omeprazole. Made chia pudding last night. <laughs> Three tablespoons of chia seeds and three quarters of a cup of oat milk and a little bit of this vanilla flavor. It's like vanilla extract, just like alcohol free, which like, I don't care about that. I just, that's what I had. <laughs> Yowza. Let me finish taking my vitamins and then we'll try it. I don't like it. <laughs> Obviously, I tried it plain, so like I think the problem is I need to add fruit to it. It's 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 not bad. Like I would eat it. I just don't want to right now. It tastes like just vanilla extract. So then I added some liquid stevia, and it tastes better. But I don't want this right now. I think I'm gonna make eggs. Yeah, I. Not the biggest fan. That's okay. That is okay. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna make my little spinach and egg, eggs. I think I've made it on here before. It's just like a little handful of spinach, saute. Get your veggies in, girl. Some of this better than bouillon. Bouillon? Bouillon? However the hell you wanna say it. Sauteed. I would do onions too, but I don't feel like cutting those right now. Today, I'm feeling so lazy, but like, what's the difference between today and other days? And a little bit of cottage cheese as well, like a tablespoon. Oh. Yeah. Much better. <laughs> I also have to leave for the doctor in like 45 minutes, so I have to be quick. I haven't had my little egg spinach thing in like, couple days so I mean I'm headed to the bariatric group now sorry if it's a little loud I feel like this is really loud I packed a the RX bar that I bought yesterday from Trader Joe's my bariatric group is 45 minutes away from me so it takes 45 minutes to get there, then the appointment, I see the doctor and the nutritionist, that's like an hour, and then a 45 minute ride home, so in case I get hungry and I don't want to fall behind on my protein today. This does sound really loud to me, so I apologize, but I look the same exact way I did yesterday because, listen, I didn't really go anywhere besides Trader Joe's yesterday, so these clothes aren't dirty. So, I'm wearing them again. I ate my little egg before, and I ate too fast, and now my stomach hurts, but it's okay. Um, I also brought water so I could stay hydrated. Okay, talk to you soon. Look at daddy home. oops. Forgot to mention, I'm not wearing a jacket right now because um, it's almost 55 degrees. Hello, spring. Hi, guys. I just finished at my appointment. Wow, it was really long today because it was crowded. It's 5.15 now. I just started eating my little RX bar. Ah! It's so refreshing coming to these appointments because, as you guys know, I'm very hard on myself and my doctor and my nutritionist just like remind me that like I'm doing amazing. My doctor, he's like such a sweetheart, I love him. And he was very happy, he's very happy with my weight loss. I'm on a good track. I've lost almost 12 pounds since my last appointment a month ago. 
which some people lose more some people lose less don't compare yourself to me i'm not going to compare myself to you because you know just listen to your doctors but i have a hard time with that like when someone says like oh i lost this amount of weight and i didn't lose that amount of weight i'm very hard on myself but I'm trying to stop doing that. He said I can do up to 80 grams of protein a day and I've been struggling to hit 60. So we have to work up to that. Yeah, I'm feeling good. My nutritionist was very happy. So I have a very balanced diet. Kind of went over like what I've been eating. I wrote like an example of what I had one day and uh, yeah, doing good. And I also was like, how much like carb should I have a day? because I hit 54 net carbs the other day and I was like freaking out and she was like, oh my gosh, no, that's fine. Like anywhere from like 50 to 100, probably closer 50 to 50 where you're at right now to like 70. And then you'll start to see, like you'll be able to eat a little more and more and stuff. I was like freaking out the other day because I didn't really know how much carbs to have a day because on Google it says like, oh, like no more than like 40. And I'm like, girl, that's like not healthy because um, your body needs carbs. It's like 5.30 almost, so I'm about to hit rush hour traffic, but that's okay. I'm gonna listen to Renee rap. My daily routine now. If we were on FaceTime, the like hearts would go, but we're not, sorry. No. As you promised me that I was more than all the miles can buy. I thought very much, but it's the season of the sticks. tuna wrap for dinner i was gonna make buffalo chicken wrap but the tuna has a little bit more protein in it i also want to try one of these pickles because they look delish tastes like a diner pickle i use kewpie mayo you can use whatever the heck mayo you want y'all already know siete tortilla just so good damn Man, not oh, damn. They're just so good, man. I eat them every day. I'm just gonna cut up like, I don't know, two of these pickles because they're pretty thick. Like two. Into the tuna. It's just so easy. Like I was gonna make like a meat of some sort, which I don't know. I should probably think about what I'm gonna have tomorrow so that I could start prepping it and whatnot. Kitchen scissors are the best thing to ever exist. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A little bit of Celtic salt. You know the vibes. Just a little pinch. Nothing crazy. I find the pepper, but maybe, hmm. Maybe if I clean this, clean this damn kitchen, I'll just put a little bit of everything bagel seasoning. Mix up the tuna salad. I am not even like too hungry. I just know it's six, it's almost seven o'clock and I need to eat so that I meet my protein goals. I love these damn tortillas. I'll tell you. All right. I'm just gonna put my tuna onto the tortilla. Simple dinner. <clears throat> Dina. 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 Nina, if you know where that's from, let me know. Nina, Nina. So, uh, chef, a little more everything bagel seeds. I'm drooling. Let's see how she tastes. Can't 
can't really go wrong with tuna. IMO. Vitamin. I literally forgot to tell you how much protein is in this. Because I don't know, are you interested in that? Since I do focus on protein, I don't really track calories. Like I know the calories I'm eating because of my app. But <clears throat> I'm more tracked for protein. So this meal has 20 grams of protein in this little wrap. Um, pretty good. For lunch, I had that little protein bar for 12 grams of protein. And for breakfast, I had the eggs and stuff for 11 grams of protein. 42 grams of protein, 30 net carbs. Pretty good. And for calories, we're at 663 if you were curious. But I don't really... I'm not going to have a large amount of calories anyways, so I don't really like track them right now. I don't think it's important at this stage. Now I'm going to go.